Hey everybody, it's Ginny. And today I will be reviewing the brand new Filthy Fangs palettes. I have the Ocean Drive palette and I have the South Beach palette. These are the brand new palettes from Bella Thorne's collection. And I've had time during the week to play with these. So I will be giving you a rundown of what I think of these as well as a demonstration. And at the end of the video, I'll also do a side-by-side -side comparison to the Juvia's Place palettes and see whether or not they really are in any way similar. So the first palette that I'm gonna go into is the Ocean Drive palette. This palette has the majority of the glitter eyeshadow shades in it. And even though they're absolutely gorgeous, what I'm going to do is actually show you how the shimmers in the other palette perform along with these mattes. And there are only three mattes in both collections. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into this blue shade right here, which none of the shades have any names, just FYI. And then from there, just blend that out. Because these eyeshadows are extremely pigmented, what I'm doing is I'm dabbing them in and then I'm going to blend them out with a clean blending brush. Normally I would go ahead and add in a transition shade, but because I want to keep this as a clear demonstration of how these shadows perform just on their own, I'm going to go ahead now and go into the other palette to apply some shimmer shades. Because I really want to experiment with color, I'm going to go in with this purple shade over here and then go in with this yellow shade over there. So now I'm going to go in with the most obvious choice for an inner corner highlight, and that's this white shade right here. I'm going to finish up the lower lash line, put on some mascara, blush, and highlight. I'll give you my opinion on the South Beach palette as well as the Ocean Drive palette. All in all, I like both of these palettes quite a bit. Of all the shades in this palette, I did have trouble with this shade over here. I used setting spray, but still had difficulty with it if I wanted to use it with any of the glitters. If I didn't do that, then it did stick relatively well, but it is something to note if you're considering purchasing this palette. Other than that, the rest of the shades all perform beautifully. For the Ocean Drive palette, the three mattes in here are extremely pigmented. You might want to use another shade from a different palette as a transition shade. For the glitter shades, they are absolutely stunning. And I think that they must have a little bit of adhesive to help them stick because applying them on my eyes was extremely easy. However, you're still going to need to use a glitter glue, as always with glitters. This palette has caused so much controversy over its similarities in appearance to the Juvia's Place palette. This Juvia's Place Masquerade palette has some beautiful colors up here at the top. And yes, there are some similarities in the colors, but that similarity is so slight that I really don't think that there was any intentional copying going on. The shimmer shades in here are stunning. However, they come off on the eyes a little bit more metallic and less shimmery. They're also not glitters. So I have the Zulu palette over here. Now let's talk about the similarity in packaging. Both Filthy Fangs palettes do have a strikingly similar resemblance to the Zulu palette. They're both large nine pan palettes and they're both within cardboard packaging. I don't think that it was an intentional steal. I really don't. What it comes down to is the fact that when it comes to manufacturing palettes in cardboard packaging, there's really only so many ways in which you can go about it. I think that Bella really wanted to have large pans and it just so happened to be that almost similar sized pans occur in the Zulu palette. When it comes to the net weight of both of these palettes, this one is 34.6 grams while this one is 36 grams. 
So there's slightly more product in here and it probably comes down to a standard size pan as opposed to anything else. So are these palettes really worth it? If you're a Bella Thorne fan, like myself, the answer is probably yes. The eyeshadows in here are good quality and I definitely think she put a lot of time and effort into making sure that she had a good formula. If you're not a fan of glitter eyeshadow or shimmer eyeshadows, colorful eyeshadows, this will be a pass for you. Hopefully my review was helpful. Until next time, bye.